to trade it's a superpower i can walk into trading markets and fucking make money not i mean i'm not joking dude it's 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 kind of like it's unfair i mean i don't want to be a dick but i'm not talking about making a million dollars a day that's really difficult no just squeezing out three grand a day five grand a day i mean look at alex man one hour squeezes out three grand a day every fucking day it's a superpower guys you guys can do this. Making three thousand a day is a great goal. Making four thousand is one million dollars a year, guys. And that's what I mean by a superpower. I'm not talking about fucking making millions of dollars a day. I mean, you probably can if you wanted to, but that's not that's not me, man. I am cool, you know. I mean, if you make an extra three thousand a day, think about that. I even, I even tell people, don't even think about 3000 a day, guys. Think about $100 a day. If you can start making $100 a day, you can start making 200 then 1000 The blueprint for $1,000 a day is a $200 a day. You should, everybody, guys, we're going to save some time. You're going to ask these questions. Um, there's, you can Google me, man. I have interviews out, traders, uh, chat with traders, episode 100, where you'll find out who I am and stuff. I really don't need to ask all these questions because we're going to save time. And definitely do not pump, guys. We are, you know, I want to talk to you today about, um, is Alex here, Tosh? Just so making sure. Make sure everybody's here. But the guys at MIC here. Yep, I am cold, guys. There's so much to talk about. I don't even know what to talk about. I want to talk about halts. Okay, let's talk about halts. But before we talk about halts, I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to run a couple of IMC stuff. We, we are doing half off for the holiday sale, meaning $97 to join for the first month. Hit up Tosh, guys. There is a link. There is a code that Tosh will send you that you get into MIC for half price. That you get into MIC for half price, $97. We rarely do this, but for the holidays, we decided to do it because we're seeing people are struggling, seriously. With the stimulus check and all that, you guys are hungry to trade. I know that. You guys are reloading your Robinhood accounts. And what's going to happen is this, man. It's going to go into the Robinhood accounts and then end up in my fucking bank account. It's going to end up in Alex's bank account. It's going to end up in the MIC Members bank account because the money flows from the uneducated to the educated. For you guys, lose your stimulus check. <laughs> Seriously, how many of you guys lost on you, you, you? How many of you guys lost on these stocks today? You know, my short at twelve dollars and fifty cents is going to my pocket. There's someone that thinks it's going to a hundred dollars and is averaging down. You, you, you. They, they got stuck yesterday. I have people asking me in the chat room. Hey man, I think you you you's gonna bounce. I will fucking do not touch this shit. I hope he did not touch it. Whoever asked me in MIC chat about you you you, it's a broken stock. You do not want to break the rules. We have certain rules where it is an advantage. It's an you know you have an edge. If you're long biased, you trade strong stocks. If you're short biased, you trade weak stocks. Why would you go and harass Mike Tyson at his? At his prime. I'm not going to go fight Mike Tyson at his prime. I'm only going to touch Mike Tyson on the back side of his career. Even the back side. He's so fucking strong. He will kick my ass. I will need to wait for the death line of Mike Tyson to fight him. But even at the death line, he will zombie back and kill me. Okay? But So Mike Tyson is what I call a nano float. There's only one fucking Mike Tyson in the world. There's only one Mike Tyson in, this, in the history of boxing. So there's one share float. Why am I shorting a one share float stock? He will kill me. Okay? So it's going to lead into this education. I'm going to teach you on about halts and stuff. Okay? So Mike Tyson is a super nano float. I don't give a fuck how old he is. He will fucking kick your ass. It's better for you to go long, Mike Tyson. But in the 
trailing end of his career, you know, I would bet on Mike Tyson, I but, but I would not bet against him. That's the difference, guys. In trading, just because you are not long a stock does not mean it's an automatic short. Just because you are short a stock doesn't mean it's automatic long, right? So there are situations where it's an avoid. You just want to fucking not touch Mike Tyson because you don't know one punch and you're dead. You know, that's what happens to these stocks. A C Y R H E T C C O. They're all fucking halted. A C Y went from two dollars, whatever it was yesterday, to fucking forty dollars, man. There are people losing their fucking livelihoods on this stock. To do what? So, so they're shorting this shit. They're the fucking shorting Mike Tyson. So the rule of thumb is it's very simple, guys. Don't fuck around with day one, front side, one million floats, two million floats. If you see a stock, <clears throat> this is a very simple avoid. This is how to avoid fucking getting beat up by Mike Tyson. If you see a float less than two million, fucking take it off your screen if you're shorting. Do not short that stock. Wait for that stock to do the backside. But even if the backside comes, be very careful. Those are those situations where it looks very attractive. Mike Tyson looks like an old man. And so you think you're going to beat him up in the back. And then you better swing fucking hard enough when you knock him out. Because what's going to happen is going to take your best punch. And he's going to wake up and zombie and kill you. Okay? So you do not even want to mess with those type of stocks. So as a new short seller, do not short anything under 2 million float. Simple. No matter how attractive this because what happens is this. We have a fucking rule. <laughs> it's funny, you know. I, I, they always say, like, if, if we can buy the company, do not fucking short it. Because what happens is this. This is how stocks get manipulated. This is how halts happen, all this stuff, right? Well, let me uh, let me uh, tie my shoelace. I'm not gonna, uh, I get to look at my, my backside of the trade. That's all right. Uh, Now it's the front side again, because zombie hour. So what happens is this? How do you trade these fucking halts? How do you even know the halt's gonna happen? Well, to be honest, no one even knows this shit is gonna halt or not. There are chat rooms out there that are trying to halt a stock on purpose. Okay, limit up, limit down. If you wanna know how that works, Google it. There is a formula, there's a rule, X percent in X time frame. So if a stock moves 10% in maybe a minute, it holds something like that. Whatever the rule may be, Google it. Okay, Google it. And so they are using that to their advantage. Are they manipulating it? What is manipulation? They are within the rights of the game. Don't hate the player, guys. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. You know, I see these guys making money and then they're bragging how they take advantage of the the game, and then when they lose, they're like, oh, fuck, it's manipulation. My pussy hurts. Why? Why they manipulate? I mean, dude, I never cry. I'm a man. Actually, I do cry because I'm a man. <laughs> I cry for other reasons, but I don't cry when I'm talking about trading. Because trading should be devoid of emotion, guys. You do not want to fucking get emotional when you trade. Because the last thing I need is to start crying about being manipulated. When I'm the guy that's taken advantage of the manipulation for 20 years and making millions of dollars. Okay? Stop being a little bitch. You know? If you want... If I want... You know, ladies, come and manipulate me. That's fine. You want my backside? You want my front side? Your choice. I am... I am an easy-to-borrow float. <laughs> I am an easy-to-borrow stock. No locate fee. I might even pay you. I might even pay you to locate me and trade me, right? So... So, getting back to the halts. So, what they do is this, man. ACY had one million, one million float. And it was at $2 a share, something like that. It only takes two million to buy the whole float out. So, what they do is they run it up, they short it down, whatever it may, may be, right? They have an algo. They're way smarter than us, man. They've been, they've been doing this for a long time, guys. Okay? These are big guys, right? They have a lot of money, they have sophistication, they have a lot of money. They can manipulate, they can put fake shares out there because you know what, man? To be honest, man, anybody can 
short anything they fucking want without locating. Just don't get caught. If you own your own brokerage and you are self-clearing and do all this stuff, right guys? So what they do is they buy the whole fucking shit up. They make it look like it's weak as hell. And so you can have these smart guys that think, oh man, I have a fucking process. Oh shit. They have these smart guys I see it on Twitter that have no fucking risk management. You know? Oh, I have a process, you know? I, I've been doing this shit for one year. <laughs> what the fuck you know, pal? I've been doing this shit for one year. I'm gonna short this shit because you know what, man? Where's my stop? I don't have a stop. Only, only losers stop out. I don't have no risk management because I'm always right. And that's how they blow up. All it takes is this, guys. All it takes is what we call a black swan. But I hate that word black swan because I see a fucking black swan every week when you walk with me here. You remember every time you do a walk with me, guys? I fucking see a fucking one black swan, two black swan, three black swan. Dude, black swans everywhere in my fucking complex. I fucking eat that shit for fucking lunch, dude. Peking's black swan. Like Peking duck, right? But Peking black swan. So what happens is these halts happen because it's deliberate. What happens is the closing price is so low that the... So what happens is this, man. That the NASDAQ and all these all these exchanges, they, they, they're they programmed. They're all algorithm-driven. So all it is is a simple rule for them. If a, if a price goes up a certain amount during a certain time frame, they halt the stock. And when they halt the stock, if you're on the right side of the move, you are banking, man. And that's what these guys do. They try to time the move. They try to trigger these halts. Limit up. If you're trying to limit up, fuck, what's going to happen? Boom. You cut the shorts. Okay? And these guys are making money. Fuck, I don't blame them. They're within the rights of the fucking game. And so, how are they doing this? They don't need to do it. It's simple, man. They own most of the shares. All they need to do is spike this shit because what happens is this. When they own most of the size, this is how shit works. When you buy most of the fucking... Let's say the limited edition Air Jordans come out. There's a thousand pairs of shoes and you fucking corner the market. You have fucking 800 pairs of shoes. Okay? And that's what some of these guys do, man. They try to corner the market and all these things, right? It's easy. You put a little bit out to make it seem like it's liquid. But you own most of it. And you fucking try to trap the short sellers. When you trap those motherfuckers, they, it's like, okay, you buy all the... Okay, I'm going to lend you out the shoe. You don't have physical... Because what happens is this. This, this is called drop shipping. Remember all that shit, drop shipping? So now you're my drop shipper. But you don't understand that you're drop shipping a product that doesn't have a deliverable. There's really no... There's not fucking 5,000 pairs of Jordans around. Only a fucking 1,000 pairs. Okay? You're, you're doing the drop shipping. And then now I'm like... Now it's time for you to deliver the shoe to the customer because the customer already paid you for the shoe. You're going to come to me, and I'm going to go, nope, I'm not going to give you the fucking shoe. <laughs> you want to buy it? You'll have to buy it for hire. <laughs> and so what happens now? This becomes a short squeeze, guys. And that's what they do. And the halts is just systematic. People are afraid of halts. I love these fucking halts. Just, I love them. The reason I love it is because I'm educated. I know how the halts get triggered. And there, there are chat rooms out there, masters of triggering halts. Their whole strategy is to trigger a halt. With their 5,000 sheep buying the shit. They pick stocks that triggers halts. And how do they know where it triggers? Simple, guys. There is applications out there, trading platforms, that gives bands. They call it bands. Halt bands. When it hits here, it will halt. When it hits here, within this time frame, it halts. Because all it is is a mathematical formula, guys. I used to do this shit in my head. We used to do this shit in the head. But... There are programs right now. I'm not going to tell you which application. Join MIC and I'll tell you which application shows the halts. And I love these halts because if you have this application that we have, you get to see what the price is called an imbalance price. Okay? When it halts, people on Ameritrade, people on Robinhood are dead. Joe, you imagine you're trying to fucking sell a sneaker and then when it halts, eBay goes down. You have no clue what other people are selling it at. But... I fucking have the eBay app. I know what the prices you're putting in are, but you do not know what the other prices are. You see what I'm saying? This is a huge advantage, dude. This is called imbalance. What happens is when it holds like this, there's still pending orders that are unfilled because the FINRA says you have to halt. That's the rule. Level up, level down. Limit up, limit down, right? 
during this time there's like a million shares that needs to be balanced out what balance is is they need to match a buyer and a seller so it stays halted until you're able to match all the buyers and sellers and get a definitive quoting price okay and this is basically the exchange's job the stock exchange job right to do this and so that's why you see a stock like you 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 get fucking shorted down from 1250 and then it it just halts because the the rule says if it tanks a certain amount during a certain time you have to halt the exchange this is called a circuit breaker this is what happens during the during the you know the crashes of the market they call it the flash crash so now you understand now you, it makes all sense they have what's called a circuit breaker all over the place circuit breakers for the whole exchange circuit breakers for certain stocks circuit breakers for whatever it's like a surge protector for your fucking computer man you know you should always plug your tv and stuff in a surge protector if you have a too big of a current that comes out you will blow your electronics okay that's where this term comes from circuit breaker okay so what happens is you 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 look at this all of a sudden it's dollars, and then it gets halted. In other words, there's a circuit breaker that goes off because there's so much volume coming in on the downside. And so that's why I've called it the, the limit down. And so they, they just shut it all off. Okay, because that's the rule. It's in the regulations that X percent of a move within X amount of time frame, you have to shut it down. It's called circuit breaker. Flash crash shit, right? During this time, People are fucking panicking. If I was in long at twelve dollars, even if I'm long at ten dollars, this is this is the danger of these halts, guys. You 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 was at twelve fifty. I am long at ten dollars. For example, I am up huge, two dollars and fifty cents. I'm fucking chilling. I'm bragging to my friends I'm about to go clubbing tonight. I'm like I'm up fucking fifty thousand dollars, and then next you know, boom, halt triggered. I'm like, fuck, I'm blind. I cannot see what the imbalance price is. Okay? But there's software out there that I can't. So guys like me is taking advantage of this shit, man. For you, 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 I cannot see the imbalance. It's a listed exchange. And some, uh, for NASDAQ, I can see it. RHE, I can see it. But you, 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 I can't. So some things I can't and some things I can't. But if I can see it, you're dead. I know exactly what the imbalance is. I know what this number of shares. I know. But you're just trading blind. Okay? So first step educate yourself educate yourself how do you educate how do you educate yourself by fucking learning from people that know this shit not for fucking dumbasses that just started trading that got lucky on these halts and then now complaining about these halts okay we know exactly what all this shit so there's a couple ways to make money off this first way is not to lose how do you not lose don't even get involved when you see shit halting up and down like that, fuck it. If you're new, guys, avoid. Avoid. You know how you make money? By not losing money. Making zero, to me, is making money in trading. Same thing as gambling, right? If you go to the casino <laughs> and you fucking leave the casino even, how many times have you told your friends, dude, I broke even. I'm up. Not losing is winning. That's what it is, man. Just being able to avoid a C Y R H E T C C O losses is a win. But if you want to capitalize, I'll tell you how. Because <laughs> so what happens is this: you have to know your what I call your technical analysis. Okay, it all starts with technical analysis. I have to. You have to understand who's upside down. You have to know all that. V WAP and all that. I don't want to get into that discussion here. We teach that. The lines, the system, the lines, the process, the all that stuff. I held this U U U short for a while at twelve fifty because you know what I did. I'm like fuck this shit. People are fucking upside down on this stock. What's the worst case I hope? I call a small size. I call that predefining my risk. I know exactly where I'm going to get out if I'm wrong. Because you know, let's say like I can only. I'll give you an example. If I want to lose only five hundred dollars on the stock, I do my math and I will figure out exactly what my stop is and I'll start stopping out before that. So I put in my stop. I don't care. Okay? And to be honest, I got lucky. Fuck, you gotta get lucky. Holt, you don't fucking know when it's gonna come. You fucking luck. It was fucking luck. But the difference in luck is this, guys. You have to be there to take care of the opportunity. Luck means shit. 
Now, why is it fucking Michael Jordan got lucky all these times winning six rings? He got fucking lucky. He got bailed out. <laughs> you know what they say, man? The more you practice, the luckier you get. The more you practice, the luckier you get, guys. And the practice comes with education. So, Alex talked about the stimulus check yesterday. What people are gonna take that fucking six hundred dollars or two thousand, whatever they're gonna give you? They're gonna do. They're gonna load up in Bitcoin. The fuck? You're fucking straight up gambling. So, let's say you double your money. What do you do? You just make twelve hundred dollars in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is twenty-seven thousand dollars. It hits fifty thousand. Wow! Fuck yeah! I made twenty-three thousand fucking points on Bitcoin. How much you up? I'm up six hundred dollars. <laughs> One year later, you're up six hundred dollars on Bitcoin. Now imagine you take that six hundred dollars, you buy a quarterly bundle from Tosh at MIC. <laughs> During that time that your fucking friend just made six hundred dollars with his stimulus check on Bitcoin, you just learn how to fucking trade, and you can make six hundred dollars every fucking day for the rest of your fucking life. Okay, just think about that, guys. I want to ask Midtown. All the guys in MIC, is that fucking true? The best thing you guys ever did is to learn and educate yourself with that money. Making money one off because your dumb blind luck is not gonna help you in the long run, guys. The guys that are taking that $600 and using it to educate themselves, not making any money, mind you. But you know what, man? Education and time is priceless. During that fucking six months to a year, that these Bitcoin guys are happy as fuck. They're up $600. You have just learned to trade for yourself. You're not fucking following the herd. You are not fucking just knowing Bitcoin. You basically know how to trade. Now you can go back and trade Bitcoin. Trade small caps. Trade IBM. Trade Tesla. Trade whatever you like. Options. Whatever you like. Just knowing this concept, you can go trade fucking Nike or Nike Jordans on eBay if you want. It's the same concept, guys. I hope that made sense, guys. And let me ask the guys that are watching right now, guys. All the guys in the MIC, what do you guys think about the education? Is the education worth more than just taking that money and just putting in the Bitcoin and doubling your money? Fucking six hundred dollars, guys. You can join it for the quarterly through Tosh. We're raising our prices, guys. So this is the last chance you got. It's a hundred fucking dollars, guys. <laughs> they join the first month. We have a sale. So, I mean, don't listen to me. Look at all these guys that are following our stream right now, guys. The reason why we are able to do live webinars, to do live IG live, YouTube live, is the fact that we are legit. I'm walking around here and no one's fucking stalking me to jump me to get their money back. <laughs> Who can do that? These other motherfuckers are not gonna do that. They're gonna go jump. You're gonna jump their ass because because they they pumped you 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 at forty dollars and you just fucking bought long forty dollars you you you. Versus like dude, they're they're actually you know what to be honest, they are actually <laughs> trying to jump me to congratulate me. But you know I I don't like that tension, so that's why I don't you know that's why you don't see me fucking bragging and shit. I don't I don't need it. What I like to brag is this, guys. I like to brag the fact that our members are making money. Our members are learning. So just ask, guys. I'm going I'm to sit here right now. I'm going to ask. There are 294 people watching this right now, guys. How many of you guys are in MIC? Type in MIC, thumbs up if you're actually learning. And, you know, it's worth it, right? This is your chance, guys. You guys are not in MIC. Just fucking ask the people around. How confident am I to be able to ask this? I'm not blocking anybody. You know, there's nobody trolling. The only people that are troll are the competition that just got their ass whooped. Exactly. Just look at. It. I love this. This is this is what I love, man. You know, use this stimulus money wisely, guys. I see dumbasses going to the club, to the fucking strip club, <laughs> using this. You know, fuck. I guess they're not dumbass. They're just ass. They just like ass. They like dumb ass. Literally, they like dumb ass. <laughs> but you know what? People like to spend what they like to spend on. Some people are not made to trade. I'm not forcing anybody to trade. But you know what, man? How the fuck do you know what you're good at unless you try it? You think I knew I was a good trader? I didn't know. I can't. I do. I was an immigrant, man. I could barely speak English when I came to America. And I'm like, holy shit! Look, at, look what I'm doing now. I mean, who the fuck is following me? 296 people just watching a dumb guy walk around a pond, randomly talking stupid shit. I never thought this was gonna happen. 
all it takes, guys, I'm telling you right now, man, I want to cut these short, guys, because, you know, I want you guys to fucking really think about this. The stimulus and the pandemic, there are two effects to this. It sucks, man. People are losing their livelihoods out of this, you know. But you know what, man? Shit happens. Either you're going to cry about it, like some of these guys on Twitter, that lose money, get called a manipulation. It's like, fuck yeah, man. The whole world is not fair, guys. First step you need to know is this. Life is not fucking fair. You know what's not fucking fair? There are guys with no legs. There are guys that don't fucking have, don't fucking have arms. They're kids. They're fucking got cancer, man. That's not fucking fair. Stop fucking crying about your fucking money situation. If you are healthy, that is something that you should be blessed about, guys. You know what, man? Because you have all the fucking money in the world, like Steve Jobs. He got fucking cancer, man. He had fucking, he was the richest man in the world. He had fucking everything. You don't think that he wanted to fucking live? So don't think and don't cry. Make the best of the situation. So this is how I made the best of the situation for the pandemic, guys. I fucking wanted to travel, man. I'm fucking old guy. I've I worked my ass off to to put myself in a situation where I don't have to fucking sit at home every day. But the pandemic happened. I'm like, fuck. I can't travel. So what did I do? I made the most of it. I now what we did was we started. I started using my time to educate you guys. I have never fucking traded this much in so long. I'm here. I haven't missed a day of trading, man. I'm here fucking healthier. Not drinking, not partying, helping you guys. And I love it. So I'm using this pandemic to my advantage. So all you guys are unemployed, crying about fucking all this stuff. This is your fucking chance to do whatever you want to do, to learn a new skill. When in the history of mankind have you been been able to sit on your ass and no one says anything? And people feel sorry for you because you sit on your ass. <laughs> so instead, you use this shit to fucking buy PS. Five PlayStation Five and play video games all day. Good luck, man. We all we know we need those people in life. You know? Not everybody's got to become a boss. You know, <laughs> whoever is watching this, guys, you guys are bosses already. Okay, I'm telling you right now, dude. You guys are bosses. This is your, you want to do this. What is stopping you? You just need a little push. Okay, and that's what fucking the pandemic has done. Pushed me into fucking working harder because. What the fuck else am I gonna do? Play video games all the fucking day? Because what's gonna happen to this? I'm like, holy shit, dude. I'm learning more. I'm healthier. I'm walking around. You know? So, I'm gonna end this here, guys. Text Taj, Taj. Text your number. Type in boss. Okay? I wanna, I wanna see how many guys text Tosh with boss. And you know what? Whoever, we're gonna give out some prizes too. And uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm gonna be there with Tosh. Okay? I'm gonna do this for you guys. Actually, I'm traveling. I might be traveling, but. Uh, Tosh has a free webinar on Wednesday at 2 p.m. market time. Okay? Check his Twitter. Okay? All you guys. You guys want to learn about trading? Fucking text Tosh boss. Tosh, text him your number. There we go. And then he'll tell you about everybody that texts him. He's going to talk about his webinar tomorrow he's doing. And this is your chance, guys. Get off your fucking ass. Use a stimulus check to your advantage. I really don't need your fucking $100, man. Seriously. But you know what? This may change your life. All I want is this, guys. I want you guys to fucking pay for it. I told myself when I was young, if I ever made it, I don't think I ever made it, but I made it enough where I can pass back, pass down the ladder, guys. I'm always looking up, but I'm always looking down as well. I have two eyeballs, one up, one down, right, guys? And I want to pull the rest of you guys with me up there. I'll see you guys later. We'll see you back online, guys. Have a good day. Text Tosh, boss, B-O-S-S. -S.